Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about AMC, but before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, join the family guys, let's go on our investor journey together. Today we're going to be talking about AMC. Is AMC going to go through a short squeeze? What's been going on with the overall price movement for AMC stock? Why has the stock been rallying so much? Looking at the one week chart, we see that it's up 30%. So I'm going to be kind of going over why I personally think AMC is starting to go up. Is it going to go through a squeeze? I just want everybody to know that everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. So that being said, let's get started with the video. So going back to the one week chart, we definitely see here that AMC Entertainment is up 29.42%. The last week here, we see that it did have a high here of up 43.58%. And then another high here again at 42.56%. Looking at the one month chart now up 42% of its value. This thing got all the way down here. May 6 at $9 and it's slowly making a recovery. And a lot of people wondering why, why has AMC Entertainment stock been doing so well? Why has the stock slowly been going back up? Well, there is a lot of reasons for it. One, I mean, bullish sentiment has kind of returned to the stock once again. Um, we did get a dive into their earnings kind of stuff like that. Everyone knows that during, you know, COVID 2020, AMC lost $4.59 billion. Like the company was not doing well. Obviously, COVID, you cannot be in close proximity spaces and stuff like that. So in that lime life in itself, you know, AMC has slowly started to make a recovery. We got to dive into their quarter one earnings. No, they did not beat Wall Street expectations, but... We do see a sign of recovery and we do know that, you know, in quarter one, there was 7 million people who stepped into a movie theater. You know, that's still a decent amount of people, which goes to show that the interest is there and the pent up demand is there. But the biggest reason why we've been see seeing movements from AMC stock is because AMC stock has been getting a lot of more media attention. Um, Obviously, we do know that AMC does carry a huge amount of short float, meaning that there's a lot of big time hedge funds that are shorting the company. They kind of want to drive it to zero. Um, if we guys saw what kind of happened with GameStop and this stock as well back in January, you see this small squeeze up here. This is, I think it's like a gamma squeeze of some sort, but um, essentially what happened was, you know, you see this trading and then people have to cover their short position. So they start adding to their overall position. And then, you know, a lot of the brokerages, they limited trading, uh, Robinhood and Webull and TD Ameritrade, limited trading on AMC, GameStop and all these other stocks that were being heavily shorted at a single time which then led basically only gave people the option to sell and the stock slowly started to kind of fall back down but we have seen a small rise in these stocks again like i said right now amc you know up 30 percent for the trading for the last trading week now currently sitting at 12 dollars 80 cents and we definitely do know that okay in the month of march and april you know there was a lot of big time hedge funds who were adding to their short positions so you know this is public we know that there are people out there who continue to short amc stock they're adding new short positions every day but just generally speaking if we've taken a look at overall market condition you know they're Basically, I feel like a lot of big time hedge funds are shorting the market anyway. It's not just specific stocks, but AMC nonetheless does tend to have a little bit more short flow than a lot of other stocks out there. And, you know, if you guys have seen the kind of the social media action on Twitter and Reddit and stuff like that, you know, there's people out there commenting saying like, you know, we own the flow. You know, eventually that these shorts do have to cover their positions, which is true. You know, that's that's how shorting works. If you guys don't know what shorting works, shorting means that you borrow shares at a specific price and you hope to pay them back at a later price or a cheaper price. And that way you get to collect the difference as collateral. Now, these shares are borrowed. So whether AMC stock goes all the way up or all the way down, these shares have to be repaid back. And so, you know, we saw a lot of social media attention where people were like, okay, you know, the shorts have to cover, which is true when people say this, you know, the shorts do have to cover their short position. They do not have a choice. And what starts to happen as price movement starts to go up is people start getting scared. You know, a lot of these big time hedge funds, a lot of these big time investors who started shorting the stock in the first place really start getting scared, okay, that they, they're starting to lose money. What starts to happen? You know, these big time hedge funds, they start buying back the millions and millions and millions of shares that are being shorted at a single time. And that's something to always put into perspective that these are not hundreds of shares or even thousands of shares that are being shorted. These are millions of shares. So this makes for some crazy price action. You know, and, and a lot of explosive growth as well. I've said this about AMC stock before, that this stock does have a lot of explosive growth. So I honestly would rather be on the on the longer side than the shorter side of this. I, I would not want to short something that has so much media attention. Even big time analysts like Jim Cramer have said, you know, right now is probably not a good time to be on the short side of things, especially with what we saw happen with GameStop and AMC a couple of months ago and even Microvision as well. 
these stocks running like hundreds, if not thousands of percents in a short amount of time. And it made a lot of people lose a lot of money. You know, a lot of these kind of started because Reddit people, Reddit, Wall Street bets wanted to teach hedge funds, you know, that they can't just really just take advantage of the market. But nonetheless, you know, with AMC stock, it's, it's definitely something that's been on everyone's eye, you know, GameStop as well, that these stocks are definitely coming up again, that, you know, when people thought it was finally over, that people were not no longer going to short these stocks. Well, we saw that, like I said, in March and April, that AMC kept having more short positions being added. And now people are trying to finally force out the squeeze. Now there's some crazy price predictions out there on what, you know, what AMC is going to hit, whether it's 5k, 10k, 100k, you know, some people say like 100k is the floor, quote unquote, stuff like that. But for me, what I do agree with is, although I don't know what the exact price is going to be, it's pretty hard to predict. What I do know is that these shorts eventually do have to cover their positions. You know, shorts have to cover, you know, this is something that's, you know, a basic trend of the shorting strategy that people use, you know, when they want to make money using a shorting strategy that like, okay, you have to repay back the shares. So if, if retail traders keep buying and driving the price up, you know, what's going to start happening is these hedge funds are going to start shorting more. And then, you know, retail traders are going to keep buying more and more soon enough. You know, we see what we see here, you know, this big squeeze upward. And, you know, I feel like AMC the first time could have gone a lot further if the brokerages didn't limit trading. But I do think that AMC stock is going to squeeze. And I've been saying this in a lot of my videos. I've been saying that I do think that AMC is eventually going to go through a short squeeze because the company has so much short flow. And generally speaking, ever since what happened a couple of months ago. AMC t generally has a lot more media attention as well. So it does bring to the surface, like I said, over the one month up 42% and up over the last week, you know, we see this huge just climb upward, you know, and this is the type of price movement that, you know, which is eventually going to lead stocks to squeeze because they start going up and up and up. And eventually, like I said, hedge funds start getting scared and they have to start buying back their positions. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it actually plays out. But I've said this for a long time now. I do think AMC eventually is going to go through a short squeeze. I am almost certain that it's going to go through a short squeeze, although it is not financial advice and it may not happen. And it's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure at this point it's eventually going to happen. And that's the thing. You can never really predict when it's going to happen. You just kind of wake up and you're kind of just in the middle of it, you know, and with AMC and GameStop and all these meme stocks being so explosive at a single time. It's kind of hard to predict their overall price movement, but nonetheless, I do think that AMC stock is going to go through a short squeeze, and I do think that if it does go through a short squeeze, I think it's going to hit well over 500 bucks. That's my overall best price prediction I can actually kind of kind of give on the scenario. You know, I know that's super cheap; it's not as high as a lot of people are predicting, but you know, in the, in the limelight, you know, I don't. I, you, it's too hard to predict because you never know. Brokerages they like to limit the trading and stuff like that, so you never know what they're going to do the next time around when this stock actually does go through a short squeeze. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comments below, guys, what you think of AMC stock. Do you guys think AMC stock is going to go through a short squeeze? If you guys own AMC stock, how how many shares do you guys own? And what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.